This is the first in a short series about renovating a Mary Beam engine. Recently I was asked to renovate this engine, and firstly I must say how impressed I am with the workmanship on this engine. It is rare to see an engine made quite as well as this. This being part one of the series, I'm just having a quick look to see what needs doing to the engine, and as you can see there are some parts missing. It needs a lever that pivots on the cylinder as shown here with this piece of wood, and then two drop arms, one to go to the regulator side and one to go to the governor side. That's a simple fix. And then what I'll need to make is a pivot pin to go into the cylinder. As I said earlier, this is a very well made engine and it turns over very smoothly. It doesn't feel right though, something is amiss somewhere. There is compression where there does not need to be any compression. It looks to me like the timing's out. The eccentric rod is a bit loose as though someone's been trying to adjust things in the past. The main regulator shaft is bent as you can see here. This will need straightening. Although it works at the moment, it's just a cosmetic thing to make it look right. I'm now checking the state of the valve gear. Valve gear on a beam engine is more complicated than on other engines. And it's easy to get wear in the moving parts. And as you can see here, there is wear in the moving parts. In fact, looking closer, you can see that the plumber block is actually loose. That's not going to help. And... The arm is loose on the shaft itself. Have a closer look. Applying some compressed air to the engine does not really make it run. It tries, but not quite. By messing around with the valve gear, I can get it to turn over, but that's no good having to have a hand on the valve gear. It's obvious to me that there's a problem with the valve events. As I mentioned at the beginning of this short introductory video, this is a very well made engine indeed, and the paintwork generally is not bad, it's just damaged. I really don't want to destroy everything that was done by the original builder. Part of the charm of an engine like this is showing its age, so I will be refurbishing this engine very sympathetically. Thanks for watching and I hope you found it useful.